the lot. Kept it real from the jump. Need nobody to ride. Pull the skin on my own. Let him try, he gon' die. I'ma let it be known. They be babies inside. Playing games with the grown. Make them play in your head. Boy, don't play if you know. Pull it serving for free. But they blood with the cost. I'm stuck in my ways, I'm stuck in my ways. I want all the smoke. Been up for days till my mama, I change, but she know that I won't. You know what I'm saying? It's still not truly, you know what I'm saying? You want me to start over? You recording this shit right here? Yeah. So, so she's speaking on something that she she passionate about, but she don't have a full idea, a full thought, a, 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 a complete idea of the history. So, that, and that's dangerous because, you know, her intentions are good, but she don't have a full understanding. So you go back to that nigga Nick Cannon, right? See, uh... You know, the way this society, America and all that shit work is, you know, they dictate what the fuck it is. When you talk Jews, whites, whatever the fuck, whoever, you know, in control of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, regardless to how right, how accurate that nigga Nick Cannon was, they know that the nigga don't have a full his a full understanding of it. So they could go at him with falsehoods and shit and try to trip him up because he don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? That's the only fault I have, Nick Cannon. You know, whether he, he a fucking agent, whatever the case is. You can't speak on this shit unless you have a full fucking understanding, especially when you're dealing with them goddamn the motherfuckers who rewrote the history. Rewrote the fucking history. So they know the true history. They know what we more than likely know because they tell us what the fuck we more than likely know. You feel me? So, you know, like when uh, somebody was talking about how they had an old, they had people with an old fucking Bible. Just to hear that, who's it, her? That's what she just right. Okay. So, so she, what does that imply? What is what does it imply that she, she prefers an old Bible to the new Bible? What you think that means? What you think the significance of that is? Yeah, it's before all the fucking alterations and shit. Goddamn snatching pages out, removing whole fucking chapters and books and shit. Before all of that happened, when you have a full idea, when the Bible, you know, whatever the fuck, it's a historical book, whatever the case is, how, whatever you see the Bible as, there's an origin for it. And it transformed and, you know, through translation and all this other shit, interpretation, the shit changes. It's only natural it's going to change. But beyond it, just the natural, you know, alterations that's going to be made, when you, you know, when your whole intention is to fucking change it, nigga, that's, that's, that's everything. So they feed us the changes that they made to accommodate them. Nigga, they used the Bible for slavery, nigga. Them niggas enslaved people and sat in front of these niggas and told these niggas, God said this shit is good. It's right here. Was, Look on this page. You know what I'm saying? So... We don't stand a fucking chance, nigga, until we have time enough to either hopefully meet some people on the way or find the history ourselves. The thing about this internet thing is it's giving everybody access to it. They know they fucked up with the internet. Well, back to her. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's the danger I see. Nick Cannon, he had good intentions. He don't have a full understanding of the shit. So he's not one that should be up there talking. Especially in public. Yeah, Griff up there with him. You can't trust Griff. I don't trust none of them niggas, man. That's the whole point. See, not only do we have, you know, people, there's people with good intentions that really try to find out what this shit is about and get caught up, sidetracked, distracted, whatever the case is. They got a whole bunch of shit that before you know it, you in a fucking cult. You trying to find out what the real is, nigga, and they got so many fucking disinformation campaigns that... Before you know it, nigga, you in the coat drinking Kool-Aid and shit. And, you, you know, you trying to find the real truth. You know what I'm saying? That's built into the whole thing. So, then you have ulterior motives. You got these motherfuckers. Black male society, nigga. Remember that black male society shit? I got it here. The black males, that's what we living in, nigga. It's not, it's like, like we talked about. You know, black label for liars. The liars are rewarded. 
with the black, the best of the best, the luxury items. Black male for the corrupt, the people that sit on the fence. You know what I'm saying? People that, you know, not necessarily doing wrong, but I see he has the potential to be a corrupt motherfucker. So I'm going to watch him. I'm going to work on him. And then you got, you know, uh, 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 then you black ball, you know, the truth seekers, the fucking sincere people, the people that are pure with their thought and movement, people that look to teach, you know what I'm saying? Look to teach, and that's their intention. They understand how important it is to do it. Those are the people that we ain't going to be able to corrupt, so we got to destroy them. Or keep them under, you know, lock them niggas up or whatever, destroy their, you know, assassinate their character, whatever the fuck they do. So you got all these elements working, so even if a nigga got good intentions, it's so many fuck. They go back to the same devil analogy, nigga. You running and fucking devils is coming at you, so you dodging them and dodging them, nigga. It's hard enough to just run by itself for miles and miles, but you got fucking these devils that's intentionally t coming at you like fucking hawks and shit out the sky, trying to destroy you on your way there. Literally, nigga, to where it's easy for a nigga to get tripped up or get discouraged or just quit, whatever the case is. It's like fuck, man. That's why a lot of these niggas who have pure intentions. At a certain point in their life, give up, nigga. It's like I'm fighting a losing battle. It ain't that niggas are bad, but the situation that we in creates certain things. So the good always getting attacked by these motherfuckers that been, you know, you know, uh, like Frankenstein's and shit. Niggas is, is American Frankenstein. We some shit that these crackers and these fake ass Jews and shit done created through, you know, just campaigns of destruction, nigga. You know, so here we are, like fucking zombies looking for brains and shit, you know what I'm saying, because of what they did, you can call it what the fuck you want, nigga, victim mentality and shit, it is what the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying, the history shows, like, we the only people in the world for real that live in a country, we have no other place to go, nigga, where, but we fighting against a society that have, you know, it ain't, it ain't nothing personal, we just can't have y'all, sorry, we can't have y'all have power because we know what the fuck would happen if we, we've seen it, nigga. We try to, you know, you know, subjugate y'all and enslave y'all and all that shit. And y'all niggas just keep figuring it out. So, we just gotta, we gotta stay on y'all motherfucking neck. Don't, it's not personal. White power, nigga. <laughs> put that shit out, man. I swear to God, man, just put it out, nigga. It's gold, nigga. I hope you caught that part too, man. All that shit is so real, it's that simple, nigga. <laughs> Put it out, man. I don't mean to even brag, nigga. The shit is necessary. Sidetracking me with that bullshit, Sanchez. That don't even mean nothing. Brother, I love you, man. Goddamn, son. Oh, I'm over here on the roller. You gonna sidetrack me with that? Put all this shit out, man. I see what it is. The whole you. thing, because we characters. I see what it I'm is. Who the fuck, I'm who the fuck I am. Yeah. And you, you, you know what I'm saying? We both men. We, I respect you and all that shit, man. But you got to cut that bullshit out, man, brother. You, <laughs> you gonna, is it, it don't even mean nothing. You the got, point is, it all go back to the, the books, man. All the way. The science, the, the fucking Christian theology, uh, theologians and shit. The motherfuckers that know the history... They can't just speak on it, nigga. It's a power structure. But it all go back to the books. If everybody understood that shit, if all the niggas in America understood Probably that shit. Probably so, but what does that all what does it all lead to? Taking over the world, nigga. Where we supposed to be. God damn. I appreciate put How that shit gonna... put that shit out with the laugh and all that shit. I, I swear <laughs> to God, nigga. How you go? What you mean? This nigga, nigga, listen. There's niggas in every. Listen, man. I don't care what you think about it, nigga. That's the, that's the point I'm at. Niggas can laugh all they want. This that don't mean a fucking thing, nigga. There's niggas in man. every aspect of American industry. At the top, there's one nigga, two niggas. At the top, and in all industry, man, nigga, we, we and they all niggas. coons, we, but they don't all have to necessarily be Do we coons. Have to be I say what the fuck I want, man. I know what I'm saying, uh, man. man. I say what I want, man. You My point. Can you up? listen to the point, nigga? You put this up. Yes, nigga. The whole thing. So, okay, you got niggas at the top. They coons, most of them, because they have to be. But I swear to God, if some shit popped off, niggas will fall in line, man. Because they understand. Niggas understand, but they have too much against them. You can't fight this system, nigga. They watch us at all times, nigga. When white people say, oh, we don't think about it. They think about us all day, nigga. Why does that sound contradictory to me? 
I don't care what you think. You just like you contradict yourself. Man, just put about the shit the out. Same we'll see if somebody I'm hears this. about the same aspect. You contradict yourself about what? the same what aspect. What did I say that was contradictory? <sighs> you said... You said niggas will fall in line. But before you were saying we can't even fight it. We can't, it, you know what I'm saying? No, and then you said because that's the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to and run before the world. that, you said, to be right? And before that, you was like, we can't even fight it. Can't fight what? The system? Yeah. That's because you ain't fucking listening. Nah, no, man, I heard what you said. Oh, man. If niggas. And it's happening right now, man. Because you said if it happened, niggas will fall in line. Yes. If, if, if the tables turn and it's too apparent for a nigga not to be able to see it, niggas will fall in line. Fear is a motherfucker, man. When you got a family and shit, nigga, I don't give a fuck who you is. Who the, who the richest black motherfucker in America? Don't say open. Nigga. Who the richest black? Whoever the rich, richest black, I think it's that funny the dude with the suits and he, he looked. He probably like a black. You know, oh, you said in America. White, white you said yeah. America. Oh, in America. Yeah. Oh, whatever the case man. is, the richest black motherfucker in America has no power because he can't. They can't allow it. They know we are such a threat that they cannot allow. They can't not keep their eye on us. They can't allow us to just live and you know treat us like we, white people. They can't. They can't afford it. Their doctrine won't allow them to afford it. Their whole doctrine is power, nigga. If you ain't, if you can't fucking tell, can you tell? Do you know that? Yeah. White people, you know, these fake ass Jews, they always, it's all the same, you know, you know, this Chinese and families and all that shit. It's, it's not necessarily a black and white thing. But as far as America is concerned, as far as I'm concerned, in, it's in, in America, how I see it, I see how the Jews control shit. But to hear white people talk about it, it's like, that's one thing that really confuses me, man. Like, like white people in power in America. So, I guess it's a case where, fuck it, you know, we'll let them operate. We don't like the motherfuckers, but, you know, fuck Ooh. it. Cause they helping us out too. Ooh. The Jews, fake right. ass Jews and shit. The, the ashy Jews. Don't be stealing my shit, man. The ashy Jews. So, you know, just from you know, in my opinion, I look at the whole white, white and Jew situation. And that shit always confuses me. Like, so who the fuck is really in power here? You know what I'm saying? Who's really running shit here? All the shit is owned by these motherfuckers, but they still, you know, you know, as far as white people are concerned, they still in the corner. They know they can't say too much, or the white people will fucking lynch their motherfucking ass. That's supposed to be the dynamic, but how how does that work, you know? And you know, if this shit get out there, I would like you know somebody to explain that, like you know, they gotta understand this shit. But um, you know, cause I you know I I, I hear opinions like white people ain't necessarily concerned. You know, we got bigger fish to fry. You know, Arabs. Whatever the case is. Um, but, um, in America, man, niggas have no power, man. And we, you know, we resilient, but it is what the fuck it is. Like, they didn't use their little tricky shit, they got us in a spot. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that's going to get us through, and it's not going to be no time soon, it's going to take a long time, because it take a long time for niggas to figure shit out. And it, it ain't going to be everybody, but a mass, you know, motherfuckers got to get in line with it. Like, the books is where it's at. Find out the true history. All of they fucking, you know, little, you know, laws and, you know, edicts and, and fucking little, you know, bullshit treaty agreements and shit. They're going to have to honor it at some point. If you come to... Ooh. It's law, Ooh. law, hmm? Ooh. the power of the, the government, the establishment, whoever the fuck that is, our government, Great Britain, whatever the case is, the Vatican, how the fuck the shit work, that power structure, once you come with the truth, there's nothing they're going to really be able to do. That's one thing I've learned about law, nigga. Law is a, is a dirty game, but it all goes to 
understanding the law. Johnny Cochran was a monster. If Johnny Cochran never existed, I probably would be so confused about this shit. But the fact that he existed and he did what he did, show me. If we get a whole bunch of them niggas, <laughs> nigga, if we get a whole bunch of Johnny Cochran's nigga, because Johnny Cochran understood it. It took that nigga all his life to, to, to finally be like, yo, let's do this shit. We're going to get our money. And he died. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Watch that movie um, about um, with Denzel, man. But you, Israel, whatever. I might be all over the place. What the fuck am I? You think, you think you're ready for that? Who? For that. Who? What? For that reckoning. Who? Is who ready? We becoming ready. I said, huh? We, we becoming become ready. ready, okay. Yeah, but shit, how long that's going to last? <laughs> that's, that, that, like you said, you don't know, boy. What? Say what now? How long that's going to be before what? if we ready in time? Well, that's, that's the beauty of it, man. It's like, nigga, you, this real life, nigga. We, I we, we like We in a real life movie, nigga. You see all the movies. And it's funny because, you know, even though America's fucked up, they still get it as far as the underdog is concerned. Like, these niggas got us so mind washed and brown, brain fucked, mind fucked, and, you know, you know, been fucking us in our head, you know, for the last fucking 300 fucking years, they know we have no idea what the fuck is going on. They know this, so they could throw underdog movies out there. You ain't gonna see too many black underdogs. Nah, Motherfuckers man, that overcome shit. Like but listen said, to what I'm like saying. Stop got that cut me off, man. man so, it's them treaties, bro. Like you said, <coughs> what? Huh? The treaties. The treaties. All them treaties. The treaties that they done set forth and got, and got us mixed up in. What you mean? Shit, all them treaties they got with these people, them people. Well, that's the point. They're gonna have to honor them. Right, they, that's they what I'm saying. See, that's what, no. So when listen now, all right, all when right, they right. and then maybe this will formulate everything you're talking about. But when they have to honor them, what if they can't motherfucking them? You know what I'm saying? What if they not motherfucking them? Ready to goddamn honor? Them? Who America? America. That's the point. The man. white folk. The reason that they throw dis disinformation campaigns out there is because they know it works. You could have a hundred so mother. Listen, so, listen. So they trying to get us to fight their shit. Who? Us. Get us they to fight their war with them. Who? Against, what? against whoever. Who? Whoever they done fucked up with. Who? America? White people. Who, 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 they always use us. That's that's our reason for being here. Since they come here. That's that's their intent. That's the value in us. That's why now, they, they can't, can't really honor get rid of it. us. Okay, now, okay, go ahead. Well, if they can't honor it, then what? They, if they can't, what you mean? They don't have the money to honor it? Exactly. We own it all. We take you it already all. know. We take it all. It's just like fucking anything else, nigga. Who take it all? Whoever they, whoever they don't owe us. To. Huh? Well, they, they feel like they don't owe us. It don't matter what law. With how you feel. Fuck how you feel. How you feel. Evidence, nigga. Where the paperwork at? But they feel like they don't owe us. Who the fuck is they? The white folk. They don't feel like that. That's why they walk around with white guilt, exactly. nigga. Exactly. Don't exactly be don't say some of this say exactly, nigga. What you mean? So who's God gonna pay, it. who gonna pay the debt? If they can't honor it. Nigga, when you go to court, do the judge give a fuck about whether or not you say, well, I can't honor that. You think he care? Does he care? Nigga, this is real life. Go to court. You've been to court. Have you not been to court? Yeah. Have you ever had the audacity to say some stupid shit like that in court? I, I, I can't pay that. It don't matter whether you can pay. You still owe it, nigga. And if you don't pay it, we're going to take something from you. That's how it work, ain't it? Ain't that how it work? That's bullshit. What's bullshit? That's bullshit if you just damn giving up stuff. You if you're giving up stuff that might not, that's probably not even yours. What you mean? If the white folks is giving up stuff to whoever, giving up stuff Oh, you from mean like America. Selling, selling America off to China and shit? Right. Right, okay, okay. Then that ain't right and it ain't even yours. Well, but we built the shit. Just look at it. You know what I'm saying? Make, just, we the listen, first ones hold here. On, hold on. To better understand it, just look at it like a person. Look at America like a person. Just like you say, the American government is one dude. Just look at it like that. See, you, you be getting all hostile and shit, and I be I'm, trying to make the point, and then, now here we go again. Here we back to, I'm go trying ahead. to get you. I'm trying yeah, to, go ahead, to understand. Man. <laughs> it's not that complicated when you look at it like that. Like, nigga, you, you owe money? Since when the IRS just be like, yeah, I know I owe you, but that's too much money. I don't even have that much money. I know I done shit you, my family and, you know, my father and his father and his father and his grandfather and all them niggas back, back. They been fucking you all these years and accruing this debt. 
Listen to what I'm saying, nigga. What are you doing? What the fuck you don't understand, nigga? I ain't saying I don't understand. Stop hopping in my chair. My man. bad. Now I ain't trying to break. My it. bad. I'm listening. You accrue in debt for all these years and centuries and decades of shit. When the bill come due, who the fuck care what you feel and shit? You owe the money. And if you don't have it, give me your assets. What do you own? Well, we own America. Well, I need America. <laughs> we own 50. I actually, okay, okay. We've been fucking off our money. Are we ready? We've been checking no, our money. What I'm China owe about. Are we ready for this? Are we ready for what? For somebody to come in like that. Like what? Yeah, you don't see Ip Man, didn't you? Did you see Ip Man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Japanese came in, you know, the Chinese came in on the Japanese. Right. Right. Something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. Huh? What you saying? What you mean what I'm saying? Well, they coming. If the if the debt ain't paid. Who's them? But I guess it don't matter though. Like you said, they're gonna keep on down with the old No Cockamamie Bush. That's why I be trying to complete shit for you cut me off, man. That's the whole point. The point is, the IRS don't allow you to owe money and just owe money. It ain't like, I can't pay, okay, well, fuck it then. Them niggas take everything you got. <laughs> if you owe, we take everything you got if you can't pay. What you don't understand about this shit, nigga? If we can prove so who with come, the documents. So who great come get this? Get this land? Who you think? I don't who, understand what you mean. Who you owe the most to? Who's we? What are you talking about? Who America owe the most to? You said, I don't see us. I'm not speaking with America as the we. We not America in that analogy or that that discussion. Mm -hmm. We are the motherfuckers taking America to court. You feel me? Once the documents are found, not if they and been, we make sense. If Listen to what I'm have, saying, nigga. I'm, what you... It, it, It's, we ain't America. We live in America, but in this in this case, we are the motherfuckers taking America to court to pay what they owe. How you figure they ain't borrowed shit from us besides our damn lives? Which that mean a lot. You recording this? Yes, it is, and that mean a lot. Don't get me wrong. That mean a lot. Damn right. Ameri all America took was our lives. Yeah, and that mean a motherfucking lot. But as far as economically, they ain't take nothing from us. Our time, <laughs> time, and that's life, nigga. Time is life. What you mean? Life is time. Shit. Time is wealth. Like health and power. Time is power. Time is like like health. Okay. So, how do you do, okay, you know there's a way to equate slavery as far as money. Definitely, definitely, I already done calculated that so up. what are you talking about? I'm just saying, I'm just t talking about the narrative that they gonna push, how they gonna push. <sighs> Picture it in court, nigga. No, it's gonna be good. Stop. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. But why did that court system don't even matter anymore? Because the and reason they in debt with damn China. They okay, in debt okay. With, oh man, the people, the people that's saying? listening to this gonna get it. I don't have to explain it to them. Niggas. There's some niggas that hate what I'm saying and get it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? The reason I use Johnny Cochran as an example, he's the only a lawyer I've seen, black lawyer, that stood up for black people and spoke it. And was doing that shit, did that shit. He said, you know, the fact that he said, in my opinion, the fact that he said that reparations was worth forming a fucking class action lawsuit, that's all I really need to know the credibility of the cause. If we want to put it in legal terms, beyond that, like, you know, as far as historically and shit spiritually, we got all the fucking rights in the world, but as far as the American, you know, correction, British, you know, you know, that whole bar thing, B-A-R, that thing, British, the whole American British thing, you know, the fact that this black man, you know, did we, did we, OJ, you know, and 
how that whole thing is covered up still to this day is funny. Whatever the case is. But um so you know in in the twilight of his life decided I, he probably was scared of it his whole life. Scared of pursuing that because he knew how big it was. How huge it was, was going to be. And when he got older, he was like, I can't run away from this shit no more. We're going to do this shit. And started recruiting lawyers from all over the country and the world, nigga. To start a class action lawsuit to get the descendants of slaves reparations for all this shit that these motherfuckers put us through. And he died. And that was the end of that. And you don't even hear about it no more. But the fact that he was willing to pursue it. It's enough for me, personally. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as the legal standpoint, you know, the reason I say that is because I'm cynical of the legal system itself, the American, British, whatever the fuck legal system. I'm cynical because of what is done. But I see <coughs> how 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 technical it truly is. So they that, have perverted it. The but this, too? Huh? They're gonna go against the British too. Yeah, more than likely, because they're going to have to. The, the whole point of the documents is to take it back, step by step through the history. They're going to have to open all the books up, hand over all that shit, just like the FBI could be like, yo, you got to turn them files over. All that shit over there, you call it credit, you know, uh, uh, what's the word, classified and all this shit. I don't even fuck about none of that. Hand it over. That's the, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. Once you fuck up, your secrets, all that shit got to come out. That's how law, you know, you know, um, that gives me faith, quote unquote, in the, the possibility of getting what the fuck we owe. So, you know, with that being, you know, regardless so, to... You know what? That makes sense, though. Yeah, regardless to I'm how... I'm formula, just formulating something in my mind, even back to the social security number. You know, you know, you know, you know, regardless to how worthy a case is, Watching niggas get fucked for all these years will make you cynical. Like, I don't believe in none of that shit because it's all bullshit. Because from what I see, nigga, like, this nigga live in a city that's 50% black, but somehow y'all figured out a way to get all motherfucking crackers in the goddamn jury is nuts. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga don't stand a chance. But the system itself ain't necessarily, you know, beyond function. If you have motherfuckers that's smart enough, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's the word when you know the books? Well read enough, you know, and have the right intentions. You get a whole bunch of them niggas together, they don't stand a chance. Nigga, the Jews are crumble. All that shit are crumble. They understand it. That's why they got to keep throwing world star and all this old stupid shit. Fucking rims and all that dumb ass, which is, you know, not to shit on that because we deserve that too. We supposed to be wearing gold and shit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We supposed to have that. And we still feel that in our soul. So that's why we like that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we're in a position where we can't be concerned with that shit at this point. We got bigger fish to fry. 